Afternoon YouTube. It's uh, Monday the 2nd of July and time to have a quick catch up with the old charts and see what's been going on. So this morning, so we tried to push down. Um, looks like price could feel daily wick. A break and close below 45 cents could see price push lower to retest 42,500. Um, on the four hour, you know, we're sort of saying if price closes below this level, then there's a good chance of retesting the lows down here at 42,500. So let's have a look at the chart. And as we can see, we've had a bit of a, a bit of a run up past 47, retesting the sort of highs up here at the 49 cents so that's good so from a price action perspective let's just get rid of this it looks like we've found some new support at this level here so so really the 49 going to the hour just to sort of see what is cracking down here so the lowest close was there so yeah sort of 45 45 cents 44 900 sort of level you could say but say 45 cents has given a very strong level now support after this breakout and this is the sort of thing we're looking for it's these breakouts which on the bigger if you imagine this is the daily action so this impulse here you can see prices push down push down and how quickly it's popped up we'll compare that to the daily just to give you an idea of the sort of ferocity I think we're all hoping that will happen so just to give a bit of an idea of where we could go where we've been on the hours just whack in the relevant fibs that I want to see which is that one so price sort of pushed down towards the 618 where could we go or where are we at the moment pushing up so 50 cents, 500, 600 there would be a good level. I mean, at the moment, I think what we need to see now is strong close, at least for this hour candle to close above here, above this high's wick, 48, 400, that'd be good. There may be, don't be surprised, if one of two things happens. Um, if price pushes back down to retest 47 from this side, obviously we've now broken... You see the EMA's crossed, we've broken above 200, the 200 EMA. And, you know, we're coming up into structure here. So, if we found resistance here and retested 47 cents, then went up, that's a possibility. Um, on the four hour, I mean, bear in mind we've got, f this is a very, very, very strong four hour candle. But remember what happened last time. Strong, bullish action, and then a pullback. So what we could be seeing is some strong bullish action, maybe up to the trend line. If we break the highs here at 50 cents, then a pullback into structure again. So that could be this 48, 500, 48, 600 level and then go. Or we could hit the trend line and come back down for a bit of a deeper pullback on the daily. So let's just have a look at the daily. And we'll just get rid of this area here. So again, looking at the comparison between the one hour chart and what the daily is looking like, see what we're talking about here? It's this impulse up, pull back, and then the impulse that we're waiting for. So on the daily, again, 47,500, giving us the strongest sort of level of structure even say just 45 44 500 even so we're pushing right up into the day on the daily we're pushing up towards structure and the 14 EMA so we could still see lower uh, some lower price action remember what happened here we pushed up we pushed up we pushed up we need to really see on the daily time frame, not on the four hour, not on the hour, 
on the daily. We need a daily close first above, what's that, 49,800 and a retest from this side of 47, I would say, before we can really see movement up. I might be wrong, the price might just go nuts and go crazy and smash up through the trend line, smash up through 60, smash up through 70, but we've got to be objective with where price could be. So it's going to be important to see where the daily candle closes. Um, on the 15 minute, because we've started a new candle now, so you can see we're starting to lose a bit of momentum now, but price has really pushed up. So I wouldn't be surprised to see a bit of a pullback, at least to this EMA. And again, 47, I would want to see, to confirm that 47's, you know, gone, would be a retest and go. But we're coming up into this area of structure. And that's the only reason I'm saying this now is because when we look left, look where price is. We've got all this information here. We've got all of this to consider, okay? So, things to look out for. Um, you know, will it be higher by the time I get paid? I don't know. Either way, I'll be buying regardless, whatever the price is when I get paid, just because that's what I've got into the habit of doing, just buying when I get paid. Price goes down, it goes down, if it goes up, it goes up. Just buy what I can, when I can. Um, so let's have a look at Bitcoin on the four hour as well, because we've moved, what's that? So in the last four hour candle, we've moved from 45,700 to 48,600. So nearly 20 cents movement in the price. Okay. On Bitcoin, we've moved from, what's that? 6,300 to six, nearly $300. So price going to be three hundred dollars on the four hour. Again, we're coming up to this top level of structure. Two hundred EMA we're pushing towards. So this again would coincide with the structure. We need to break this structure to really confirm a bit of a more bullish momentum up. Um, but we'll leave it there. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, it'll make for some interesting. Um, viewing throughout the evening um what else have we got on the card so yeah next structure 51 cents for these points here but good signs good stuff but i wouldn't be too disheartened if price does drop again it's just the way the market moves could be moving up could retest which again if you look where that price is could coincide with this and then drop but we'll see what happens a positive positive start to july for price action if you enjoyed the video please like uh subscribe so you can see all these wonderful ramblings about price action um hopefully you took something away some new areas to potentially watch some things that could happen um and yeah if there's anyone else you think that might enjoy this video or previous videos by all means just share i appreciate anyone that has been sharing and liking the videos so far. Um, I found this interesting uh, quote as well from my book that I'm reading at the moment. So today we had, don't set your mind on things that you don't possess as if they were yours, but count the blessings you actually possess and think how much you would desire them if they weren't already yours. But watch yourself that you don't value these things to the point of being troubled if you should lose them. So just a little nugget of wisdom there from Marcus Aurelius about how we're thinking, what we're setting our sights on, and, you know, just appreciate what you do have at the moment, and never know, in the next coming months and years, things might um, improve to a point where we can all start being a bit more free. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Enjoy your evenings, and uh, we'll catch up tomorrow with another snapshot of what's happened.